Hello everyone, today in this video I will be discussing the module 3 of electronics super important questions and in this module we have 7 super important questions uh, from the previous paper and the model question paper. Many of the examples uh, are given in these uh, types of questions for from each topic and don't miss any of these questions. Before starting please do like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos like this. So without wasting more time let's get started. The first super important question and the most repeated one from this module is state and proof de Morgan's theorem with its truth table. Okay, so what does uh, de Morgan state? The de Morgan theorem states that the complement of logical or of at least two boolean variables is equivalent to the logical and of complemented variable yeah. each complement variable okay so if a plus uh, a1 plus a2 plus a3 till a n if you take the complement of it that will be equivalent to a a1 and a2 uh, a1 bar and a2 bar and a3 bar like that okay the uh, or operation gets converted to and operation and each of these values which gets converted to its complement form okay and these both are equivalent okay so if you take with two boolean uh, variables it will be like this if a plus b uh, a or b if you take the complement we'll be getting a complement or b complement okay a plus b uh, bar is equal to a bar uh, or uh, a bar and b bar okay a plus b plus c bar is equal to a bar and b bar and c bar okay so this is the equation and the reverse is also true if we take a1 and a2 and a3 the whole bar will be getting a1 bar or a2 bar or a3 bar till a n bar okay so uh, the following for this also a or a and b uh, bar will be a bar plus b bar and uh, a b c if we take it will be a bar plus c bar plus d bar the input and the output form will be like this a, you will be writing a b and then 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 if a and b both are 0 output is 0 if a and b is 0 and 1 the output is 1 if it is 1 and 0 it will be 1 and if it is 1 and 1 it will be 0 okay so a a bar b and a b bar and the uh, min terms have the output 1 okay in these two cases the output is equal to 1 See if we take a bar b okay that will be a bar is 0 here and b is 1 here that's why it is a bar b and uh, it is 1 here so it will be a and b bar okay so if we take the or operation of both of these we will be having this equation okay and uh, we need to prove the uh, de Morgan's theorem using a truth table right so this is the truth table okay first we have a and b here a bar and b bar this is a plus b a plus b bar a bar or b bar and a b and uh, a or b bar and a bar or uh, b bar okay so the equivalent forms are these okay by the de morgan's theorem a plus b whole bar should be equivalent to a bar and b bar okay a plus b whole bar where it is a plus b whole bar a plus b whole bar is here okay so this term should be equivalent to a bar and b bar okay a bar and b bar see both of these are equal okay that is one thing second thing is here a dot b a and b bar okay a and b bar where it is a and b bar this one should be equivalent to a bar plus b bar okay a bar plus b bar as you can see again these both are same okay you can calculate it and see if i take an example for one of them see a is 0 b is 1 okay so what is a and b a and b will become see we are taking for this one okay a and b it will become 0 what is 0 bar? 0 bar is 1, so 1 is written. That is equivalent to here. What is A bar? A bar is 1. What is B bar? 0. 1 and 0. You will get here 1 and 0. If you take the OR operation of 1 and 0, what we get? 1 only. Right? So these both are equivalent. Okay. This is true for each of these. Okay. So that was about the de Morgan's theorem. And for the three tables also, it's the same thing. These both are equivalent and these both are equivalent. Okay. You can verify it. Next super important question is related to nines complement method. Okay, this is also a very repeated question. How do we uh, do the subtraction using nines complement method? Okay, so uh, the question given is 4637 4, minus 2579. Now, if you want to subtract it, first thing what we do is find the nines complement of the subtrahend, which is the uh, right uh, number. Okay. 2579 is in present in the right side so that is subtrahend we have to find the nines complement how do we find the nines complement subtract this number from 9999 we will get a value here then add this value to the menu end menu end is the one which is subtracted from it's 4637 4637 plus 7420 when we do what happens is 
will be getting a five digit number now five digit number means there is a carry okay if four four are there means it should we should get the value four if you are getting five means there is a end carry okay so end around carry that is nothing but one here which is the end around carry the last which is present is this is the end, uh, end around carry okay if there is an end around carry in that case what we should do discard it and add one to the remaining digits means one will be discarded so what will be remaining 2057 from for 2057 we have to add that one okay so when we add that one to 2057 we'll getting 2058 this is the final answer okay these are the steps you need to follow we'll solve uh, another question 125 minus 1800 our first step is to find out the uh, ninth complement of the subtrahend which is we'll be getting um 8199 okay now uh 125 is uh, three digits and this is four digits so we'll be making it four digits by adding 0 1 2 5 okay now we have to add the minimum end uh, to the nines complement 0 1 2 5 plus 8 1 9 9 will be getting four digits only since there is four digits four digits only there is no end around carry okay four four digits it, if it results in five digits then will, there will be an end around carry if there is no end around carry what we have to do take the nines complement of the result and make it negative take the ninth complement of the result and make it negative so what is the result we have got here the result we have got is eight uh, 324 for 8324 what we will do we will uh, subtract it from 9999 okay and we'll get 1675 and make it negative so answer of this will be minus 1675 okay this is how you do the nines complement method don't miss this uh, question okay solve a few more questions from the same topic next with the help of a truth table explain the operation of full adder along with its circuits also this is also a very important question here will be two inputs will be there a and b and this is the carry input okay and output will be having sum and carry okay and uh, this is a circuit diagram and uh, the truth table will be as follows here there will be input okay a b will be the input and c is the input carry 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay now sum will be a plus b 0 plus 0 is 0 and since there is no carry there will be no carry 0 only 0 plus 0 again the sum will be uh, sum will be 1 because we are actually calculating 0 uh, a plus b plus c in okay 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 sum carry will be 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 is uh, 1 again and the carry is 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 what is 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 1 0 okay 1 plus 1 is 1 0 okay 1 0 what is 1 0 1 0 is 2 right 1 plus 1 is 2 so 1 0 is 2 in 1 0 we will be taking this one as carry okay this one will be carried and the sum will be taken as 0 only like that okay 1 plus 0 plus 0 again 1 and 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 again 0 and 1 carry will be 1 and the sum will be 0 1 plus 1 plus 0 again the carry will be uh, 1 and the sum will be 0 1 plus 1 plus 1 now again if we add 1 here what will it will become 1 1 1 1 means the carry is 1 and the sum is 1 as well so both will be 1 here okay so whenever we get a two digit answer the right part is the sum uh, and the left part is the carry okay so these are two table and the implementation of half adder okay for that was for the full adder now the implementation for the half adder for the sum will be writing a bar plus a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar and a b bar c bar a b c okay that will be a x or b x or c okay and logical expression for the carry will be the following one okay so the circuit diagram is also given here you can go through it okay this will be the circuit diagram for the full adder okay these two expressions you have to write and this is the uh, um, circuit diagram you have to write for the full adder and the truth table also uh, about how it was there okay so these are the things you need to write for the full adder next is mention different uh, theorems and postulates of boolean algebra and prove each of them with a truth table okay so there are some theorems uh, and postulates which you need to know while simplifying these all theorems are used okay so you can go through it one by one six x uh, like x plus zero is equal to x x plus x into one is x x plus x bar is one okay x into x bar is zero these all are uh, these all are uh the boolean uh postulates and theorems these can be verified using a truth table as well you can uh do that if you have time else you can just uh, get, uh go through it once and you'll be having in mind and each of these has a name as well okay like involution associative distribution d morgan absorption okay these all theorems you'll be using for simplifying okay so you need to know all all of these theorems and if they ask in exam you can write as many as you can okay so the proofs are of, of proofs of each of them are also given i'll not be going through the proofs the video will become more lengthier you can go through this okay and the truth tables also you can prove the same using a truth table as well okay 
and the circuit diagram is also given here like for example there is a two table given here how can we make a circuit diagram for it what what you need to do is you have to calculate uh, which are one here one is this one this one this one this one and this one okay so if one is this this will be equal to z bar uh, i mean z plus x plus xz plus xy plus xyz okay when we simplify it we will be getting x plus y bar z okay so this will be simplification will be done using k maps that's a separate topic okay so this is just for an example it's given the two table for f and the equivalent uh, diagram which is present here okay so for example how if you wanted to make this diagram how you will make this diagram see here it is uh, having y with a not right y with a not means y is becoming one and z is also becoming one now we will be checking where is y1 and z1 in these two places y is one and z is one right so this will be is taking as and here okay and our operation is happening between x and y z okay so it will be x plus y bar z okay x plus y bar z okay so this is the uh, diagram given the question will not be asked like this but uh, this is just for the understanding purpose okay implementation of boolean function with the gates okay next is uh, subtract using the r minus 1's complement method okay this is another method like lines complement method here will be having r minus 1's complement method so question given is in the decimal form 4456 minus 34234 okay subtract using r complement this we have to do it using the r minus 1 complement this is using the r complement and two binary numbers are given we have to subtract it first using the r minus 1 complement the step is first determine the number of digits larger number has five digits will work with the five digits okay we'll calculate the r minus 1 complement r minus 1 means base 10 means r minus 1 means uh, nines comp complement so the ninth complement of uh, base 10 for this given number is uh, 9999 minus subtrahend. Okay, so 9999 minus the given number from 5 digits we have to subtract and we'll get one thing. This thing will be adding to the min end, which is the 4456. Okay, if you add it to the 4456, we'll be getting a number here. Now, this number is also having 5 digits, so there is no end carry. That means uh, we have to. Uh, subtract this from 9999 what answer we get we have to make it negative same as the nines complement here also okay r minus 1 if it it's the base 10 it will be nines complement method only okay second is using the r's complement base 2 okay for the decimal numbers it's a bit different the both the decimal numbers are given calculate how many bits are there seven bits are there in both of them we will work with seven bits okay then r's complement for this one you have to calculate how we will do that the uh, R's complement of base 2 is found by inverting all bits and adding 1. Okay, how do you do the R's complement? Invert all the bits. See, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, it's there, right? Invert all the bits. So it will become 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Add 1 to it and we'll be getting this value here. This value will be added with the first number which is given and we'll be getting one uh, answer here. Now, this answer has 8 bits but we we were working with seven bits so that means there is an end carry whenever there is an end carry discard this bit that's all discard this bit so the final answer will be double zero one and followed by four zeros okay and double zero can be excluded because uh, from the left part of the one which we have in the decimal we can exclude so the answer will be one zero 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 which is 16 okay Moving on, few more questions we have related to the uh, conversions from one type to a different type. Okay, like the hexadecimal, decimal, and binary. These are the most superior ones. So let's have a look. Okay, the first is to convert hexadecimal to a decimal value. This is hexadecimal value to convert this into decimal value. Now, 3a6 point c58d. Whatever the hexadecimal value is given, first what you have to do is calculate the powers of it. See, this power is zero. This power is one. This power is two. Okay, and uh, 3 into 16 power 2 plus a is equivalent of 10 10 into 16 power 1 and plus 6 into 16 power of 0 what answer we get will be keeping it here for the fractional part also it's the same thing here the power will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so c's value is 12 12 into 16 power minus 1 5 into 16 power minus 2 8 into 16 power minus 3 and d is 13 13 into 16 power minus 4 what answer we get we'll keep it here approximately we'll take it okay this answer approximation is this and 934.771790 will be the final answer in decimal form this is how you will convert the decimal uh, decimal value to a decimal value okay next is decimal to binary this is the decimal value given converted into binary so whenever a decimal is converted to binary the first thing you will do is multiply by 2 repeatedly so this one multiplied by 2 is 1.375 1 came here take this one out so it will remain 375 
that 375 multiply by 2 you'll get 075 take this zero out when you remain with 0.75 again 0.75 into 2 will get 1.5 take this one out and 1.5 will remain 0.5 into 2 when we do we'll get as 1 take this one out when we take the one out and the answer is 0 we'll be stopping there and what sequence we have got 1011 1, right that will be the answer 1011 1, 1. okay Next is the ninth complement. You have to convert this into the ninth complement of it. So this is the number given. Okay, for for this, what you have to do? I have to take it separately. First is the integer part. Second is the decimal part. Twenty-five is here integer. For that, uh, two digits. So ninety-nine minus twenty-five, seventy-four. And three digits. So nine 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 minus six thirty-nine, three six zero. Just put it uh, together. Seventy-four point three six zero. Next is the ones complement. This ones complement is very simple. Convert all the ones to zero and zeros to one. Wherever one you see, put there as zero, and wherever zeros you see, put there as one. That's all. Okay. So this is the conversions you need to know. Okay. Next is the minimization of the functions and applying the Boolean uh, simplification functions. So minimize the following function. A function is given to us. You have to minimize it. Second, this function and uh, this function another is given for these two the answer we get okay answer what we get for this is called as f2 okay answer of this is f2 for f2 and f1 after that we have to uh, complement it means uh, we have to find the complement of f2 and f1 okay the first thing is uh, we have to minimize this function okay we have to apply the boolean algebra laws okay so this is the function given to us and the uh, term yz can be written as yz into x bar plus x okay because x bar plus x will be equal to 1 yz into 1 is equal to yz only so we can take uh, this term instead of yz why we want to take this term because we want to simplify x is here x dash is here if you take it like this and uh, expand it we will be getting x bar yz plus x y z okay x bar yz can be taken with this term and x yz can be taken with this term okay that's the same thing which we have uh, done here after this okay after we have taken um this value here okay yz can be written as xyz plus x bar yz okay so instead of yz here we will be writing this term okay these two are same here if you observe x plus xy plus x bar z is same here but yz is written as xyz plus x bar yz now we will be grouping the terms we will be taking xyz with xy and uh, x bar yz with x bar z okay so xy plus xyz x bar z plus x bar yz okay now when we do that we will take uh, the common ones the common ones here is xy if we take xy common from this we will be remaining with 1 plus z x bar z if we take common will be remaining with 1 plus y okay and 1 plus anything will be equal to 1 only this is another law 1 plus uh, whatever it is because or condition right in or either of them should be true okay so no matter what this is this is true means the final answer will be true so so this will be true means we can take this whole thing as one this also we can take the whole thing as one the final answer will be x y plus x bar z that will be the final answer so we just remove this term right this y z was here we just remove that term because that is redundant one okay so the final minimize function is x y plus x bar z this is the uh, f2 okay this will be used in the next function now next question they had asked is to find the complement complement of this is nothing but we have to just take a bar on top of it and apply the de morgan's law see this is nothing but x y z y x uh, bar y z bar plus x bar y bar and z right you have to take its complement which you have to do like this if you apply the de morgan's law what will happen we'll be taking uh, this term here x bar y z bar and this will plus will become dot and this will be x bar y bar and z and another uh, not operator on it okay so when we do it individually we will be getting our final answer which is x bar uh, sorry uh, this will be the final answer mm, okay this will be the final answer uh, this one okay this one will be getting the final answer when we simplify this one okay so again uh, from there also we'll be uh, applying a de morgan's law okay so see i'll be explaining what's happening see x bar is here y and z bar is here okay plus x bar y bar and z is present here you have to take the complement of it f1 is given this one you have to take the complement so we took the complement okay if you take the complement we have to separate the terms and separate the sign also this is uh, plus this will become multiplied okay x bar y bar z and again this one now again here also we will be applying the de morgan's law when you apply the de morgan's law this is uh, dot here and dot here right because this is and operations on in between them when we remove the and it will become plus so this will become x bar double bar plus y bar plus z double bar okay one bar is already here so it will be gone now double bar is nothing but it is zero okay so means it will get cancelled 
not of not is this uh, initial thing only right so it will become x plus y bar plus z and this also when you do it similarly you will be getting this one x plus y plus z bar okay see this will become x double bar that is equal to x only and plus will be here y double bar is y only and z will become z bar okay so x plus y plus z bar x plus y plus z bar x plus y bar plus z x plus y bar plus z this is the final answer okay so f2 also will be doing the same thing f2 is given as x y plus x bar z whole bar so when you simplify it you will be getting this answer okay that's all for this video and uh, don't miss any of this question please do like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one